Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads, and today I'm walking through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how you can turn your website into a lead generation machine and really generate some revenue for your business month over month. Now, if we take a look at the top here, we're looking at AC Repair in Houston, which generates about 1,600 searches a month. Now, you know, we're going to show you how to turn those 1,600 searches a month into revenue, but before we get started, you know, there's much, much more volume out there. You know, there's AC Installation Houston, AC Repair Near Me, all these different search terms that correlate to AC-related um, search terms. However, like I said, for the sake of this video, we're just going to focus on AC Repair in Houston um, and these 1,600 searches for the sake of time. But these strategies do apply on a much broader spectrum. But let's show you how you can turn these 1,600 searches into revenue by starting with your website. So we're looking at your AC Repair page. And... As we scroll down here, you know, what I notice is that you have a very visually aesthetic website. However, from an SEO perspective, there's a lot of things that we can improve on if we want our website to appear on searches on Google. So let's talk about that. And the first thing we're going to talk about is internal search engine optimization, which, you know, deals with all the different things that we can do within our website to increase our search presence. Now, normally you're going to hear things like title tags, heading tags, local business schema, and those are all great, but for the sake of time in this video, we're just going to focus on the two most important things, which are content and keywords. Now, let's start with content. Why is content so important? Well, having a contentful website is important because it promotes a positive user experience. Content gives users something to engage with. When a user has something to engage with, they tend to have a better experience, and ultimately, they'll either come back to your website in the future or they'll use Google for future searches. So it makes sense that Google would promote a website that promotes a positive user experience because it's a win-win scenario. Now, we want that contentful site. Normally, I like to recommend about 750 to 1,000 words. Um, and right now, you're underneath that. However, um, you know you can always tweak it however you like. Um, I would recommend going above that content, never below it, um, because 750 is a very low mark but it still keeps that content full site while still being visually aesthetic because I know some people worry that too much content can take away from the visuals. Um, so like I said, 750 to 1,000 really puts you in that nice golden range. But you know, you're probably saying, well, Justin, why don't I throw up a website with 5,000 words on it and just call it a day? And the reason we can't do that is because we have to make sure our content is relevant. We don't want to, you know, we don't want our website to appear for roofing terms or landscaping terms because those aren't going to help us. We want to appear for AC related terms. And the way we do that is by using our keywords. Now, keywords are the most used words or phrases on a web page. And based on these keywords, we're going to tell Google information about our business. Normally, I like to recommend that we answer the three main questions for Google with our keywords, which are number one, you know, what do we do? Number two, where do we do it? And lastly, who are we? So, Let's take a look at your keywords and see if they answer those three main questions. So here we are in a tool I use called Keywords Everywhere. And if we scroll down here, we're going to notice your most used keywords. We're going to focus in on the first five to six, um, but I do always recommend further optimizing as much as you can. Now, number one and number two, we like to focus on industry specific keywords. Now, I think you have the right idea here. However, I would recommend putting air at number one and repair at number two. Number one should always be your industry specific keyword telling Google exactly what we do. Um, and that should be air at number one. Number two should be your modifier to the first keyword. Um, so for instance, you know, if you have air at number one, then we have repair or installation. In this case, we're going to look at repair, um, but just kind of idea of a complement of keywords. So number one, switch these two around. Um, and then the next thing we want to focus on is the number three and four keywords, which we want to put our location in there. Normally, I tell people to put their location there because it really tells Google where we do business and allows them to drive that local traffic to you. Um, so really focus on that. Number three should be your city. Number four should be your state. And then number five and six, we want to focus on our brand. The reason I tell people to put their brand in their top keywords is because oftentimes people think that they rank automatically for their business name. But that's not always the case because sometimes you have a business with a similar name or even the same name um, in the U.S. or maybe somewhere overseas. So we want to rank for our name on a national level. That way customers can find us all the time. So just to recap, number one and two, industry specific keywords, um, and also put air number one, repair at number two. Number three and four, we want our location-based keywords. So number three is the city, number four, the state. And number five and six, we want to work our brand into there. Let's take a look at your competitor and see what type of keywords they're using and the type of content they're using for their website. On AirTex of Houston, they rank number one organically for AC repair companies in the Houston area. And let's kind of see why. So 
First off, we notice that they have a ton of content on this page. You know, in fact, it's really all content with a few images down below, um, but really it's all content up top on the actual page itself. So you see the favorable rankings that they're getting from having a contentful site. However, let's check how relevant this content is by taking a look at their keywords. So once again, we're back to keywords everywhere. And if we scroll down here, you'll notice that they have air at number one. Um, like I said, always have that industry specific keyword. Air seems to very, be a very popular one in the AC repair industry for obvious reasons. Um, number two, they have that location based keyword. Like I said, really helps drive that local traffic to your business um, and tells Google exactly where you do business. Now, after that, it kind of falls off. They have service, home, location, HVAC. Um, so it kind of falls off after that. But, you know, I would say to use this as kind of a guide for your keywords because it is working for them. Um, and obviously, just because they're ranking number one doesn't mean that their keywords are perfect, but it is helping them rank in the correct section. So it's definitely something to think about. Um, I would say use this list as well as the options that I gave you for your own keywords to kind, of, to kind of mix and match the best keyword list possible. Let's go back to your website now and talk about external search engine optimization. So now we're talking about external search engine optimization. In this case, we're going to be talking about backlinking. You know, backlinking, very simple, just a link from one website to another. But from an SEO perspective, a lot more is going on. So when a website links to another, it's essentially transferring SEO power from that web page to the next. But even more so, what it's doing is it's acting as a reference to Google saying, hey, I trust the information or, hey, I trust this business. So really, really important that we get our backlinks from quality sources, because just like a good backlink from a good site can tell Google that we're a good site. A bad backlink can tell Google that we are a harmful or spammy site. And normally those bad backlinks come from other harmful or spammy sites or maybe even one that's been blacklisted. So we really want to focus on the quality of our backlinks. I see it all the time where people go on Fiverr. Um, they buy $50 worth of links to get 10,000 backlinks and their sites immediately crash 50 rankings. And like I said, that is no surprise. That is 100% planned out because you are telling Google that you are a bad website. So Let's take a look at your current backlink structure and see what you've been doing as far as backlinking goes. I have a tool I use called Ahrefs, and as you'll see here, your current web page generates a 16 UR, a 4 DR, which brings you about 10 organic users every single month and leads to a traffic value of roughly $400. So let's kind of break these metrics down. Now, UR stands for URL rating, and what that is is the individual power given to a single web page. So in this case, we are just talking about your AC repair page in Houston, which generates a 16 UR. Now, DR, on the other hand, stands for domain rating. And what that is, is the power that goes through your entire website. So now we're talking about the plumbing pages, the heating, the AC. All those pages in one are summarized in DR. Now, if we keep working our way down the line here, we have something called traffic value. Now, how do they calculate this traffic value? Well, traffic value is based on the buyer intent given to each keyword, um, depending on where users come from. So to give you an example, somebody who looks up air conditioning doesn't nearly have as much buyer intent is somebody looking up AC repair. And the reason being is that somebody looking for air conditioners could be looking for installations, repairs, or maybe even just pictures of air conditioners. So you never know what you're getting. Whereas AC repair, on the other hand, nine times out of 10, somebody is looking for an immediate service and ready to buy. So definitely something to think about um, as far as the value that we are creating with the keywords we are targeting. Let's kind of look at some of your competitors and see what type of power their websites are generating as far as UR and DR go. So now we're once again looking at AirTech of Houston with a 33 UR, a 35 DR, which generates about 2,200 users every single month. It brings them about almost $70,000 worth of traffic value month over month. So you clearly see the correlation between a strong internal SEO structure, a strong external SEO structure, and the amount of value that you can create through your SEO. So let's kind of keep working down the line here and look at some other competitors. We have Abacus Plumbing with a 27 UR, a 46 DR, generates about 531 users every single month and has a traffic value of roughly $20,000. Keep working down the line, we have John Moore. John Moore has a 28 UR, a 42 DR, generates about 235 users every single month and has a traffic value of about $7,000. So once again, very, very important that we handle our internal and our external metrics to create the strongest possible. But let's go back to the Google Search Engine Results page and talk about the Google Map Pack for a second. So what we've been talking about lately is down here in the organic search results. However, we also have this map up here, and this is the Google Map Pack. Now, this map pack is super important because what it does is it gives businesses a second place that they can win on Google. So you can win down below, or you can win in this map pack, and you can get the number one result in both 
you guarantee that 1,600 searches every single month see your business first, and you can multiply that out by even more depending on how many searches you can win. So really a lot of value here. But to get into the map pack, you have to verify your business via postcard with Google, which is 100% free. And to rank in the map pack, you have to adhere to the different factors that they're looking for. Now, the first thing that they look for is that you filled out their form to 100%. That way you give them as much information about your business as possible. Number two, they're looking for a strong organic rank, which is why SEO is so important. Um, because not only does it help below, but it also helps um, influence the map pack. And number three, they're looking for citations. Now, citations are all the different places your business's name, address, and phone number are listed online. Um, some popular citations are things like the yellow pages, the yellow books. All those are different citations you can get for your business. Um, but let's take a look at how many citations each of these companies has and determine how many you'll need to really go in and create a strong ranking structure and really start competing with these guys. So here we are in White Spark, and as you'll see, we have Richmond's Air with 14 citations, ASAP Air with 63, and H-Town AC Repair with 23. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, why does the 63 person not rank number one? And once again, there is a variety of factors that we need to harp on. And this is a great example of somebody who didn't focus on all the other things, but went in and got as many citations as they could. And while that's good for your business, like I said, it's not the only thing. We need to make sure we tie all of our ends together to prevent something like this from happening. So once again, normally I like to recommend that we get double the biggest number of citations in here. So they have 63. So we're going to need 126 citations along with all the other factors I talked about in order to create the strongest ranking structure possible. Now, you know, this is all I really have for you in this video. I hope it was very educational and very helpful to you. Once again, my name is Justin Gilman with Quantum Leads. I'd love to set up a meeting with you to talk about things that weren't mentioned in this video or maybe any questions or concerns you have. But once again, I hope this helped and thanks for watching.